The three of you are doing really important work and you have, you obviously have a lot of heart and a lot of passion for what you do. So I'm just curious as to what is it, big or small, that inspires you? What keeps you going? I'm fortunate enough that I get to travel a lot to the field. I accompany our corporate partners and, and prospects to the field. I was in a, in a community in, in Lampung, Indonesia, and um, we happened to be there when the families were receiving the first um, handover of animals. And there was me and, and one of our corporate partners, and they asked us to be part of this um, handover ceremony. I was handing the reins of this cow to this young woman, and she started crying. And, and she accepted the animal and she said some words and then she, when everybody finished clapping, she ran off behind the little building there and one of our staff from the local area walked around behind and was asking her, what, what's wrong? You know, why were you crying? And she said, I never in my life thought I would have anything as valuable as a cow and I, I can't believe that someone came all the way across the world to hand it to me. And, and that really, that inspired me then and it inspires me now. I've got the pleasure and the, the delight of doing that um, all over the world and that's that's something that you, you can't not be inspired by that. I'm on the road probably 30 percent of the time visiting our uh, our coffee farming partners and uh, visiting them to see how projects are going, listening to them to see what other needs that they may have that we may be able to help support. Um, and I have a photo of a woman uh, on one of my very first trips to origin and I arrived in this um, mountainous community um, in Oaxaca, Mexico. It was a Zapotec Indian community and I, we were there to see coffee processed on a very small scale, almost on an art, artisanal scale. And we were walking with a few farmers down this path um, to where they had their little depulper set up that was gonna, they were going to demonstrate for us. And on the way we passed a small uh, earthen home that was about, gosh, I don't think it was more than 8 feet by 12 feet. And um, there was a woman there um, uh, in, a, in a very simple white dress and a year and a half old young boy you know, kind of holding on to her. And I looked past her, couldn't see a single stick of furniture. And we went on, we watched the demonstration of the, of the coffee. We came back and here was the same woman. She was still standing there. But this time as we approached, she reached around, she had a bunch of bananas and she held them out to us. And this was in 1996, it was one of my very first trips to origin. It was a pattern that I've seen repeated to this day, that, um, that you know, here was this woman that clearly had very few possessions in the world and was sharing what she had. And I see this time and time again, that when I'm visiting coffee farming families, many of them have very little, but it seems that the people who have the least offer the most.